Garlic, that little culinary gem, has been a star in our kitchens for centuries. Its bold taste, irresistible aroma, and incredible health benefits make it a must-have. But be careful. Using this health ally incorrectly can not only reduce its benefits but also make it harmful in some cases. Have you ever wondered why garlic sometimes leaves you with unbearable breath, or why it doesn't seem to have the miraculous effects everyone talks about? These mysteries can be solved by avoiding one or more of the 11 common mistakes we're going to uncover together. Get ready to transform the way you use garlic. Before we start, consider giving this video a thumbs up and sharing it with your friends. Together, let's discover how to get the most out of this amazing superfood. Let's go. Mistake number one, eating too much raw garlic. Raw garlic is a real treasure for our health, packed with beneficial compounds. In particular, it's rich in allicin, a powerful compound that has recognized antibacterial and antifungal properties. Who wouldn't want to enjoy all these benefits? However, as with everything, moderation is key. Have you ever felt that unpleasant burning sensation in your stomach after enjoying a raw garlic clove? It's not surprising, as raw garlic can irritate the stomach lining, especially when eaten in large quantities, but that's not all. Eating too much raw garlic can lead to unwanted effects like headaches, nausea, and even bleeding for sensitive individuals or those taking blood thinners. These reactions are often underestimated but they can really affect your well-being. So, what's the best approach? The key lies in moderation. As a general rule, one to two cloves of raw garlic per day are enough to take advantage of its many benefits without exposing yourself to the risk of unpleasant side effects. By incorporating garlic thoughtfully into your diet, you can fully enjoy its properties while protecting your health. Mistake number two, cooking garlic at too high a temperature. Who can resist the irresistible aroma of garlic browning in a pan? It's a mouth-watering aroma that signals a tasty dish to come. However, be careful. Cooking garlic at excessive temperatures or for too long can be fatal to its valuable nutrients. Have you ever ended up with burnt garlic in your pan? In addition to giving a bitter taste to your dish, this simple mistake compromises the integrity of the beneficial compounds present in garlic, particularly allicin, known for its anti-inflammatory and immune-boosting properties. To fully enjoy the benefits of garlic, it's best to add it at the end of cooking or cook it over low heat. This not only preserves its properties but also enhances its flavor. Here's a chef's tip to maximize the effect of garlic, crush it, and let it sit for about 10 minutes before exposing it to heat. This waiting time allows the allicin to form and better withstand the effects of cooking, ensuring that you benefit from all its goodness while enhancing the taste of your dishes. In short, pay attention to the temperature and cooking time of your garlic. Your health and your taste buds will thank you. Mistake number three, not letting crushed garlic rest. Let's dive into a little science, shall we? Garlic is a small wonder of nature containing two key compounds, allin and an enzyme called allinase. When you crush garlic, these two elements meet and react to form allicin, the most beneficial compound in garlic, known for its antibacterial and anti-inflammatory properties. But do you know how long it takes for this chemical reaction to fully occur? At least 10 minutes. If you use garlic immediately after crushing it, you miss out on a lot of its benefits. To maximize the benefits of garlic in your dishes, it's advisable to crush it first and let it rest while you take care of your other ingredients. This simple step allows the allicin to fully develop, which intensifies its health benefits. Next time you cook, take that extra moment. You'll be surprised how such a simple change in your preparation can significantly impact the taste and nutritional value of your dishes. The result is an explosion of flavors and health benefits that won't go unnoticed. Mistake number four, storing garlic incorrectly. How do you store your garlic? In an airtight jar or in the refrigerator? If so, I have bad news you're reducing its shelf life and compromising its valuable beneficial properties. Garlic, that superfood with multiple virtues, prefers a cool, dry environment. The refrigerator, although it seems like a logical storage option, is actually too humid. This humidity promotes mold growth and can quickly spoil your garlic cloves. As for airtight jars, they block air circulation, which is not ideal for a food that needs to breathe. In fact, garlic needs good air circulation to prevent moisture buildup and prolong its freshness. The best way to store garlic is to place it in a cool, dry, and well-ventilated area. A wicker basket or a mesh bag are perfect choices. This allows air to circulate while maintaining an optimal temperature. Stored this way, your garlic can stay in excellent condition for several weeks or even months. By taking care of its storage, you not only guarantee its freshness but also its health benefits with every use. Mistake number five, ignoring drug interactions. 
Garlic is an incredibly powerful food but its strength can sometimes work against you, especially if consumed in combination with certain medications. Are you on blood thinners? Are you taking thyroid medication? If so, it's essential to be extra careful about your garlic intake. This little bulb can increase the effect of blood thinners, increasing the risk of unwanted bleeding. Even a moderate amount of garlic can have a significant impact on blood clotting. Additionally, garlic can interfere with the absorption of some thyroid medications, reducing their effectiveness. If you are undergoing medical treatment, it is imperative to talk to your doctor before changing your garlic intake, especially if you plan to increase it significantly. Your health should always come first, and prevention is better than cure. Mistake number 6. Neglecting dental hygiene after eating garlic. Who hasn't experienced lingering garlic breath after a good meal? It's unpleasant, isn't it? But did you know that it's not just a matter of social comfort? Garlic contains sulfur compounds that, in excess, and if they remain in your mouth for too long, can damage the enamel of your teeth. Additionally, these excess compounds can irritate your gums if you don't remove them properly. So, what to do? The solution is simple. After eating garlic, take the time to brush your teeth, floss, and rinse your mouth with mouthwash. Not only will you have fresh breath but you'll also preserve the health of your teeth and gums. Mistake number 7. Consuming garlic just before intense physical activity. Do you love garlic and are you athletic? Be careful not to combine the two at the wrong time. Garlic has vasodilatory properties which means it can increase blood flow and lower blood pressure in some people. Imagine yourself in the middle of intense physical exertion, your heart is racing, and suddenly your blood pressure drops. Not ideal, is it? If you're planning a strenuous workout, Avoid consuming garlic in the hours leading up to it. This will allow you to fully enjoy your session without risking discomfort. Mistake number 8. Ignoring signs of allergy or intolerance. Have you ever experienced itching, redness, or swelling after eating garlic? If so, you may be allergic or intolerant to garlic. Garlic allergy is rare, but it does exist. It can manifest with symptoms ranging from mild itching to more serious reactions like anaphylactic shock. If you suspect you have a garlic allergy or intolerance, it is crucial to see an allergist. Don't take any chances with your health. Remember what's good for most people may not be good for you. Mistake number 9. Neglecting the quality of garlic. Is all garlic created equal? Absolutely not. The quality of the garlic you consume can make a big difference, both in terms of taste and health benefits. Have you ever compared the smell of fresh garlic to garlic that's several weeks old? The difference is obvious, isn't it? That's because the beneficial compounds in garlic degrade over time. Choose fresh garlic, organic if possible. Avoid garlic that has brown spots or green sprouts. These are signs that the garlic has lost much of its beneficial properties. Mistake number 10. Underestimating the importance of variety in your diet. Garlic is great, but it shouldn't be your only source of nutrients. Have you ever heard the expression, variety is the spice of life? When it comes to nutrition, it's especially true. Some people, excited by the benefits of garlic, may tend to overconsume it at the expense of other equally important foods. This is a mistake. A balanced and varied diet is the key to good health. Garlic should be part of a diverse diet rich in fruits, vegetables, lean proteins, and healthy fats. Mistake number 11. Forgetting that everyone is unique. Finally, never forget that every individual is unique. What works for your neighbor or your best friend won't necessarily work for you. Have you ever noticed that some foods suit you perfectly, while others cause you discomfort? It's normal, we are all different. Listen to your body, observe how it reacts to garlic. If you see positive effects, that's great. Continue to consume it responsibly. If on the contrary you notice negative effects, don't hesitate to reduce your consumption or consult a healthcare professional. In conclusion, garlic is an extraordinary food with many health benefits, but like anything powerful it must be used with caution and intelligence. So. What did you learn today? Are you going to change the way you use garlic? I hope this information will be helpful and allow you to get the most out of this fascinating ingredient. Remember, the key to good health lies in balance, moderation, and listening to your body. Enjoy the benefits of garlic but do it responsibly and in an informed way. What about you? What's your experience with garlic? Do you have any tips or recipes to share? Feel free to share them with us in the comments. After all, health is everyone's business. Thank you for watching the video. If you found it helpful, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. See you soon.